Cecil Global and African Diaspora News Channel presents the Ghana Luxury Property Tour. It will be a eight day tour coming to you starting October 1 through October 8, 2023. Now you enjoy a five-star stay at a hotel, the finest properties in Ghana. You connect with industry professionals. You will also visit cultural landmarks, have a meet and greet with the team and so much more. Make sure that you go to the description box below and hit that link just to sign up. We have one of our brothers by the name of Jalik Roseman was attacked by some white supremacists as he was just walking in his apartment complex. Let's go ahead and roll that. I want people to understand that this is a traumatic, uh, uh, traumatic for me. Jalik Roseman is struggling to understand why two men attacked him as he was walking from his car to his apartment. The men can be seen approaching him in this video. They just pounced on him. They just start hitting him and abusing him. They did kick him in his nose and his nose was fractured, which was when I saw him, his nose was bleeding. A fractured nose, plenty of scrapes and bruises. They even yanked out his dreadlocks, all while screaming racial slurs at him. They were ra yelling racial slurs at my friend. Rosemont says he doesn't know the two men who are white and believes they targeted him because he is black. So the white supremacists were arrested and it was a Gage Stanley and a Cole Reasoner, both 20 years old. They were charged with felony, aggravated battery and misdemeanor battery. They, the prosecutor has to upgrade it to a hate crime charge. So they were arrested based off of tips they have received. And the reason why we make sure to look into these videos of these white supremacists, how they're putting their hands on black people or what they're constantly doing is because we don't report on this. Who else is going to report on what these white supremacists are doing all the time? Um, we like to let black people know that you always have your guard on with these white supremacists. You know, you don't turn you, you know, get too relaxed especially living here in America. Because for me personally, this is a hate crime. They sit up there, they pulled their brother's lock out of his head. They called him racial slurs. The moment you attack someone and call someone a racial slur, it becomes a hate crime at that point. It's, no, it's nothing really to discuss at all. But we recently covered a story out of Washington State on our The Black Congregation channel. So make sure you go to The Black Congregation channel to check out that story about a brother by the name of Tyrone Smith that was also attacked by some white supremacists um, and they was charged at the federal level even though they didn't get enough time in my opinion. Yeah, Allen and Kennesaw police say they need more witnesses to come forward in this incident. That victim telling us the alleged hate crime happened right here in the parking lot of his own apartment complex. Uh, as they're approaching me one stage, what's up? Kennesaw State University student Jalik Roseman says that's how two white men approached him Saturday night. Roseman says he had just arrived at his off-campus apartment and had to drive around several men in the road, who then allegedly approached him. Roseman tells me he told the men, who claimed he was driving recklessly, to leave him alone. They still continue to say racial slurs like black, uh, they call it, they referred to me as black boy, they referred to me uh, as as. Uh, multiple times. He says that's when things got violent. Roseman claims the two men attacked him in a hate crime. They did hit me, which led me to bump into the Jeep, which I would later cause me to fall on the ground where they kicked me in my nose and, uh, and, and broke my uh, fracture and broke my nose. This surveillance video shows part of the encounter. Roseman says you can see the two men approach him at his car and as he walks away, it then got physical. Roseman says he eventually ran to knock on his roommate's window for help. Kennesaw police responded. They spoke with several witnesses in their incident report, one claiming a white male was actually looking for help after the incident. But Roseman and his roommate say he was the victim. I want justice for my friend. I want justice for other people because too many situations happen in Kennesaw and people don't know about them. These white supremacists are the greatest terrorists ever. That's who they are. That's what they, um, and, and that's why we need to make sure to expose them in every uh, shape or form when it comes to black people. But let me know what y'all think about, you know, what happened to our young brother here. You know, they say they cowards, they straight cowards because that's the only time they're going to come up to you and try to do you something, especially as a black man is that they got to be more than one or they got to have a weapon on them. 